Hey everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Adam. And welcome to the Gamers Hall. Alright, so now we're going to talk about two feats. They kind of work together, but not really. They're still different. Uh, one is telekinetic, and one is telepathic. Uh, now, one thing that's the same about both of these is that you can increase your intelligence wisdom or charisma modifier by one when you choose this feat and then after that is when it becomes different you want to talk about telekinetic yeah so telekinetic you get you learn the mage hand um spell and it is actually a spectral mage hand so it doesn't have to be seen um or slightly invisible well um, it's movement. already spectral but yeah. you can make it well, invisible. invisible sorry make it invisible just like uh, the arcane and if trickster. you already know it increases the range of the spell by 30 uh, feet um, so it goes from 30 to 60. Yeah. And then on top of that, you can actually use a uh, bonus action to try and telekinetically shove a creature. Um, so you can use it as, as a little bit of control, push somebody away uh, with it. So, so that that's something it, it couldn't do before. Yeah. Um, which is which is pretty neat, basically increasing the strength of Mage Hand, which I feel this feat is definitely something you're going to want to pick up for those, uh, those psychic um, classes. Oh, so yeah. This, it, this this really fits into that feel. But how funny is that? You can actually create your mage hand invisible, further away than normal, and literally push stuff off of a balcony onto somebody, or push somebody off of a balcony. Yeah, yeah. It adds a lot of bit. You know, just if uh, somebody's got you pinned down, you can just you know, knock them away or knock them off. Yeah. Um, adds a little more strategic value to, to a basic cantrip. Which is really good. Yeah, super good. I, I really like that. I mean, if anyone playing the Psy Warrior, I would definitely pick this oh, feat you up. you have to have this, this for the Psy Warrior. It's, it's something that I think the Psy Warrior should have gotten to begin with, but they definitely want this feat to make that Psy Warrior feel complete. Yeah, but they're also a fighter, and they get a lot of accesses to gain feats, so I feel like picking this up wouldn't... It, it's w it's going to be a give me. It's yeah. Like, you got to pick this up. All right, so the other one is Telepathic. And the the things that make this one different is the fact that you can telepathically speak to any creature uh, in a language that you know that's within 60 feet of you. Now, they can't speak back to you, and for them to understand you, they have to understand the language that you speak. So, you can't just be... It's not like the other telepathic abilities where you can say it and then the creature just automatically knows your intentions even if it doesn't mm -hmm. speak language. So this one, they have to know the language. Yeah. And uh, they can't talk back to you. Right. It's a, a little bit of a dumbed-down version of message. Um, but you can do it all the time. And, you know, you don't obviously you don't have to cast anything so nobody will see you doing it or hear you doing it. So that's pretty useful. Yeah. Uh, just the fact that you can... Um, help your your teammates without anybody knowing you're doing so yeah because when you cast the message spell you still have to speak it's you, yeah. you speak in a very low whisper yeah and so someone could still hear you yeah whereas in this one no it's you're just you're literally talking through your brain yeah uh and you can also cast detect thoughts spell yep um, once so. per day without expending a spell slot no components are uh, needed and for those um Campaigns that really involve uh, information gathering and trying to learn your your what, who who you're dealing with and stuff. This is a really good spell. Oh um, yeah, and then on top of that, if you're a caster, you can use your second level spell slots to then cast this. Mm -hmm. So it's like you you have this as a known spell all the time. Yeah, if you pick Which this, is always a plus. Having guaranteed spells is always a plus. Yeah, and detect thoughts. That is, I mean, it's. I could definitely see it being in combat as well as out of combat. Uh, I mean, definitely more so out of combat, but I could see someone casting this in combat to try and read the person's thoughts. And so it's like, okay, well, that as long as you are concentrating on this and concentrating on this one person, mm -hmm. I'll I'll give that person disadvantage to attack you. Uh, yeah, that that could be an because because they're thinking like, oh, I'm going to come in with a thrust. I'm coming in with this. Like, yeah, you you um, know what they're going to do. Yeah, I, reading their intentions. Um, that would be that would definitely be pretty cool. It could be also a skill challenge of like you know how, what they're thinking about, how they're hiding it. You can gain you know, an insight value to to in combat. So it's a way to use detect thoughts in combat instead of outside of combat. 
Yeah. 